You. Finally awake. You were trying to cross the border, right? Walked right into that Imperial ambush. Same as us. And that thief over there. Damn you Stormcloaks. Skyrim was fine until you came along. Empire was nice and lazy. If they hadn't been looking for you, I could have stolen that horse and then halfway to Hammerfell. Hello, I'm here representing Rumspringa Inc. And this is the review of The Elder Scroll V Skyrim. The Elder Scroll is one of the most revolutionary franchises what in oblivion is that? Before The Elder Century. Scroll came out, what do you the RPG market was a almost strictly Japanese RPG affair. After it, American-style RPGs finally started to come out. Now, I'm, I have nothing against Japanese RPGs, but I do like some diversity amongst all video gaming categories. The most recent one before this was on, The Elder Scroll of Oblivion. That was one of the best, if not the best, game to come out on today's consoles. Basically, what these games try to do is, if you want to do it, you can do it. And they do it like nobody else. If you're not big onto the action, you can still get enjoyment out of a very, very and that's one of the things that I can't stress enough is the diversity amongst actual gameplay in games like this. In this new Elder Scroll game, they streamline the leveling up system without dumbing it down, where, as in the last one, you would wind up having a bunch of different attributes that you can choose to improve. In this one, they give you three different attributes that you can improve. Those three are Magicka, Health, and Stamina. And what they do is they also give you a perk for each level up you get. It's not a perk as in like in the Fallout perks. What these are is these are perks that are able to be leveled up uh, along with the level that you have the skill. It's not like you can have a plus 50 in your bow damage and have only like a 20 in your archery. It doesn't work that way. You have to get to the certain perk up to a certain requirement King before you Olaf. can get it. Which the I like. Would not have and it's not that different from the in Oblivion where and hard work when you would wind up getting every 25 applicant. up you would wind up getting a certain perk with that anyway. With the so, of the I thought this was a great addition without actually subtracting anything a full or changing the way this game was played. College. Please welcome our newest bard! The team at Bethesda, they learn from each game they do. And you could definitely tell that there was a Fallout aspect to this game. And what that Fallout aspect is, is I think the one that most of us can get behind, which is the slow motion kills. Now in Skyrim, there are a bunch of different slow motion kills you can get, which one of the things that I thought was cool is I've actually had one of those slow motion kills done to me. I don't remember that happening in Fallout. It might have. It's been a while since I played it, but... I thought that was pretty cool, the way they wound up doing One of the best ways to get a good glimpse at these slow motion kills is through sneaking up behind somebody and just slicing their throat. I enjoy doing that in this game, and I know that if you haven't played this, I enjoy a lot of the combat in this game. Uh, one of the reasons why I especially like them is because you can do it really however you want. If you are a sneaky guy and you play like I do, which might be slow, I like to call it deliberate, you can, and you could have success doing that. You could have a lot of success doing that. Now, if you're one of the people that likes to run around with your fist and just beat things death to death with that, you can do that too. And that's one of the joys about this game.
is just simply the endlessness of the possibilities that you can get. One of the things that is one of the biggest new additions to this game, and I can't imagine one thing being asked for more by the fans than the addition of dragons. Dragons in this game are big, they are badass, and I really, really enjoy having them in this game. Now along with adding dragons, what those dragons do is they give you the ability to shout. And a shout is a form of magic, I guess is how I'm going to put it, that will give you certain abilities to do certain things. Like take for instance, you will have the ability with one to sprint really fast and that'll help you with getting away from enemies. You'll have another one that will shoot fire, you'll have another one that'll shoot frost, and there's a lot of them, and I don't know all of them at this, but I think that they make a great addition to this game. The guilds are back, the Dark Brotherhood are, is back, uh, the one that I have yet to find is the Fighters Guild. I haven't really been looking for it, I never really cared much for it anyway, so that's probably what it is. But as you progress through each one of those, at the end, uh, at the final mission, you will get something that will change the aspect of Skyrim, and I think that is really cool. The fact that things you do change the game itself. Now, I'm going to say I love Skyrim. I think that all the pieces come together perfectly. There's a few problems like the frame rate issue on the PS2. If you're having frame rate issues on the Xbox, please let me know. But I'm going to give Sk The Elder Scrolls Skyrim a 5 out of 5. It is simply one of the best games that I have played this year and on these consoles. Maybe even the best. So I'm going to thank you all uh, for watching my video. Please leave a comment. Join our Facebook. Follow us on Twitter. Visit our website. Thank you and good luck. is why you're here. Why you will always be here. Until the day you come of age and get thrown into that wide, horrible world. Now, what do you all say? We, we love, love you, Gro. Thank, thank you for your kindness. Thank you for your kindness. That's better. Now scurry off, my little gutter snipes.